The next video in this presentation, I want to give full credit to Chip Tatum. And I want to dedicate this to his legacy. He's the one that turned me on to this and sent me down this rabbit hole. I first met him back in 97, and I believe it was Red Pill 78 that hooked us back up together. And his longtime friend, Ted Gunderson, uh, you, you need to watch that interview. It's so much there. But now you will understand where the swamp is because we have an insider. People keep asking, where, is it? where are the insiders? It's right here. It's right here. And I was having lunch with uh, uh, one time with uh, Ted Gunderson, Chip's uh, old-time friend, long-time friend, good guy, good man. And, and I asked him, I said, what happened to all of the good FBI investigators? Because I was having my own problems with the FBI here in Illinois. I was having my own problems with them. And he just looked at me and he said, we all retired. <laughs> he said he was comical. He was funny. He was funny. If you caught Ted Gunderson just right, he was hilarious. I also want to point out that Ted Gunderson, he was on the, uh, 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 the pioneering front line concerning human trafficking and child trafficking. He was uh, onto that in the late 80s, early 90s. He was all over it. People didn't believe him. They, and, and instead, they tried to make him look bad. And that's what they do. That's what they do. So now, let's look at the swamp, shall we? Now, before I jump in to uh, what I learned from Chip Tatum, his YouTube channel is called Gene Tatum, and he lays it out in the Tatum Chronicles. These are all fantastic, uh, informative videos, and the man is amazing. He's also quite handsome, and he's not the kind of guy that you would ever want to mess with. He is the real deal, and a lot of his information is right down here in the Pegasus files and he knew everybody everybody he uh, worked for uh, Bush 41 Robert Mueller Bill Barr Oliver North and uh, and a lot of the stuff here in the Pegasus files is just absolutely unbelievable unbelievable because he was a central intelligence and and he lays it all out and he can talk about it he's not going to mention too many names but he lays it out. And the thing about it is, uh, Ted Gunderson, right here, this is a picture from the video, is uh, Chip Tatum Black Ops interview with Ted Gunderson. And here's Chip, Ted Gunderson. This was recorded in 19, February of 1998 in Daytona Beach. And I was at this conference. And I actually saw them doing this interview and said hi. I can't remember if I had lunch with him or not. It's, what, 20 years ago. So, uh, Ted Gunderson has passed on, and uh, Chip here, I call him Chip. His name is Gene, or Dois Gene Tatum, and just an amazing person. Amazing. And what I have done is I took notes with the Tatum Chronicles and got to give him credit is he sent me down this rabbit hole and I exploited it and went even further down the rabbit hole he scratches the surface he throws you a bone and I took it and I feel I feel that other people probably will too so now let's jump right in and let's look at how deep the domain is when when we're talking deep domain uh, or this the, here's where we're going to go with it, and you're going to realize just how big and deep the swamp is. And everyone, everyone, you have to see the interview with Ted Gunderson, because Ted Gunderson interviews Chip Tatum like nobody else could. Nobody else could uh, ever interview Chip Tatum and do a better job. It's just absolutely unbelievable. And all of these videos are just absolutely unbelievable. He was involved in Operation Red Rock. And just amazing that he has lived to talk about it. Amazing. He is an American hero. Now as you see this, 
and it starts to soak in a little bit, please don't forget that I'm flying in on the, on the heels of an actual CIA assassin. And we're going to start at the top and work sideways, forward, backwards. We're going to go all over the place. And this is IQT in QTEL. And here's the, uh, the web address, IQT.org. This is the main CIA company site. This is it. Strategic Investor, Technology Accelerator, Trusted Partner. Yes, sir. Trusted Partner. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit here. Let you look at this. And they all, they talk about in, intelligence and defense communities. Insights and, ag, uh, and access. Uh, securities. National securities. And you see all these links down here. And we have a little wormhole right here. You just don't really notice it. But we're going to come back to that little wormhole right there. This is their history right here. Partly. And right here you have portfolio. And when you click on the portfolio, uh, this page comes up. And this is the first of eight pages. And each page has 32, 32 companies listed. And the thing about it is, with eight pages, there's over 250 of these subordinate CIA companies. They're just all over the place. Now, when you go to category here, just look at some of this. Alumni, biology, chemical detection, corroboration, communications, data analytics, detection and analysis, digital imagery, materials and power, mission tools. What mission? Optical technology, sensor technology, artificial intelligence machine learning artificial intelligence and if you just click any one of these that's what companies that pull up are and they've got several here you got few which is a which is a major player here mythic these are uh, some of the highlighted companies and Fugue is um, automated security and they're a big company all of these companies like I say there are so many of them here, over 250, and all of them are funded by grants from the government. Your taxpayer money is financing all of these companies. Here's Palantir, and Palantir is intelligence for uh, military ops. Software from many sources, and they put right there, hey yeah, we work closely with the CIA. Here's Ember, Ember Corporation, wireless networks with very small, low power batteries and such. And uh, there's one company, let's see if it's on this page, Loxy Cameras. Loxy Cameras are uh, basically um, cameras like police officers use uh, uh, um, vest cams um, that they can attach to soldiers, military, or special ops, and it streams to the internet or streams to the satellite live. And here's one here, 3VR. We're going to look at 3VR a little bit here in a minute. And right here you have QT, uh, IQT Labs. And when you click on the IQT Labs, of course, now you'll see the uh, the I for biometrics, because a lot of these companies are into biometrics. They're all over the place. And uh, uh, we provide insights and technology beyond the startup for national security and the common good. The common good of who? When you click on the uh, Lab 41 here, this is what comes up. Lab 41 explores how the U.S. government can leverage emerging machine learning capabilities. We're tackling the most difficult challenges in data analytics in support of the U.S. intelligence community. Look at here. Intelligence, academia, industry. So they're working with big industry, the big corporations, 
They're also working with the universities. Machine learning. Automation. Big time. Big time. And all of these companies are all part of the swamp. This is the swamp. I'm showing you the swamp. Now let's go back to our homepage. And the little wormhole here, if you scroll over it, your little cursor comes up. And I'm going to click it here because once you get there, you have to scroll way down to 2019. <laughs> Would you have ever thought that you'd have seen the Bitcoin on a CIA website? Well, it's because you didn't know. Bitcoin processes its 400 millionth transaction. Well, who would know except for the people who created it? Who keeps track of Bitcoin transactions other than Bitcoin and the people who run it? And they say, oh, Bitcoin's private, Bitcoin's this and that. No. They created this out of thin air just so they can see what you do with it. Now, the rumor is that some Japanese uh, scientist invented Bitcoin. Okay, some scientist, some Japanese scientist that nobody knows who he is, what his name is, but he just happened to be able to uh, create a cryptocurrency, get it on all the networks throughout the, uh, the world, throughout the globe, and he did it all just overnight. And got news for you. It's not only Bitcoin, it's every single one of the cryptocurrencies. They are all run by the circus. Every single one of them. And another one that Gene uh, talks about is Google Maps. And, and, and I, I, I was floored. Okay, well, you think about it. Does Google have the infrastructure to manufacture and build rockets and satellites and put them in orbit? They have all that infrastructure in place, huh? All the control units, uh, the control rooms, the, the communications involved with providing pictures of maps from all around the globe and being able to blur out what they didn't want you to see. Yeah. So I just thought you might like to see that. All you people that are, that are, are uh, uh, banking on Bitcoin to save you in a time of despair. <laughs> I'm now just going to show a couple of these companies and jump around a little bit. I did have became a 3VR. 3VR's video intelligence solutions provide a single platform for real-time security and consumer insights. Yes, we'll help you keep an eye on everyone and everything. And we're just going to scroll down a little bit here so you can see some of it. And you can see that they're tied in with Crime Dex. They're tied in with Crime Dex. Well, Crime Dex is a company that um, uh, that's used by law enforcement professionals dedicated to stopping crime. Yes, sir. Either that or uh, sweeping it under the, the rug. Tracking more than 15,000 su uh, suspected criminals. And this is something you have to sign in. You have to pay to get in and, uh, and, and join them, which I certainly don't have any intention of doing. But this is just another... Uh, uh, th there's actually a couple of companies that do this. Uh, here we're going to look at basis technology. Data. We make sense of it. And I'm just going to scroll on down here a little bit so you can see some of this. This is a big company. Our products. And see, some of these companies have other companies. So now we're starting to see that just because you see the 250 companies, each one of those has sub, uh, uh, subsidiaries. Our customers. Brain Space, Hitachi. These big people, big people. Let's look at Brain Space. Make smarter, faster, and more informed decisions. And oh boy, this is good. Check out these wild graphics. Really cool stuff. Learn how to use the most advanced data analytics solution on the planet, online, or in the classroom. That'd be your university classroom or your private classroom. Check it out. They're in the UK. Top clients. 
Here's uh, Lexus Nexus again. All tied in. Reveal. Biometrica. Enhancing security and surveillance intelligence. Yes, sir. And they uh, they work in casinos. Who we are? It's all kinds of stuff. Let's just go and drop down on this and the products. Look, all this stuff. Casinos. You can spend forever looking at this stuff. Algorithmia. What is the artificial intelligence layer? So scroll down and let you have a gander at it. Oh, these guys are tied in with them. Yes, sir. Also, the United Nations works with these guys. There it is right there. You don't have to make nothing up. Learn how the United Nations uses AI layer to push for a better world. Yes, sir. The world wasn't good enough until the United Nations came and made it better. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. Here we're looking at some GitLab. Named a leader in cloud native. Just going to scroll down here a little bit. And here you see some of their customers. NASA, Goldman Sachs, Bayer. Sony. You ever heard of these companies? How about Siemens? Here's another dandy synapse. They work with NASA. And they also have debugging toolkits. <laughs>
that had everybody spying on everybody. Just imagine all the kids and all the adults that thought they were that they were uh, taking pictures for themselves and others were also seeing whatever they took pictures of with their spy camera. Special equipment required. Now, you might be wondering, how do the clowns get around? How do they move from country to country, state to state, city to city? How do they do that and maintain discretion? Well, I got a suggestion for you. Let's look at this company. And I wonder if the company I'm fixing to show you was ever tied in with this company. Now, if you ever wondered how the clowns moved around from country to country, from state to state, discreetly, they used this company. Now, you might wonder, how in the world did I figure this out? Well, I was watching, I watched dozens of sponsored movies. And there's something I noticed. They had these trucks everywhere, and several of them. And they even had these Mayflower trucks getting burned, blown up, wrecking, falling off bridges, falling into the rivers. So, whoa, 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 maybe there's a connection there. Maybe there's a connection. Well, let's look at it here. International Movers. Mayflower International services more than 150 countries around the globe and can help you uh, plan and manage every aspect of your next international move. Well, how is this company going to get uh, in, into 150 countries without being tied in with the circus? It ain't going to happen. It just ain't going to happen. And this is how they move their stuff. This is how I, I would suppose diplomats, ambassadors, uh, security people, I bet you they all use this company even domestically. And here under the section here, trusted international movers. Request a quote from one of the top international movers for more than 50 years. The Mayflower International brand has been trusted by customers and companies moving worldwide. It's funny how the 50 years always seems to come up. I thought you'd like to see that. <laughs> yes, everything you've seen here, it's not news, but it is. And now I'm going to show you Fletcher Prouty's cure, the solution to all this mess that we call the swamp, the deep domain. We're going to look at it. Okay, this is the last writer that I'm going to feature in this uh, series, L. Fletcher Prouty. And this book, The Secret Team, The Agency and Its Allies in Control of the United States and the World. And as stated previously, he worked for uh, uh, Kennedy uh, in his administration. He's a real cool guy. He wasn't fully red-pilled, but buddy, he knew what was going on. He had his, yep, yep, he couldn't put the whole picture together, but he had a lot of pieces to the puzzle. And he was also the man giving credit to Donald Sutherland's part in the Oliver Stone movie where Mr. X just pops up on the scene um, on a bench uh, at, at some uh, Washington DC park and he's given information that you really couldn't get anywhere else unless somebody was on the total inside inside of the issue and this book is from the 70s and his books were suppressed then they were purchased up by um, these guys right here and they were kind of suppressed uh, during the uh, 80s, 90s, and then it came out with some more reprints. And here's the book I'm going to pull my passage from. This book right here. But first, I'm going to show you the table of contents, which is really, really cool. Really, really cool. So you got this right here with by Oliver Stone. Which I don't have a lot of regard for Oliver Stone. He's, he's done some good stuff and he's done some real stupid stuff too. 
and we're just going to scroll down and let you look at this. Makes his move to control the agency. Yeah, that didn't work out so well, did it? Government by coup d'etat. That's what we had. Now, this is the cure. We're going to get the cure from L. Fletcher Prouty right here on page 159. Page 159, about the middle of the page. Here it is. I'm going to give you the cure. Few people have the experience to know how such things work under the cloak of secrecy. This is the great weapon of the agency. And it is why the agency cannot be stopped. The cure is short of eliminating all of its money. You cut off that pipeline, these guys shrivel up and die because they cannot make enough money to support their own bureau, their own Politburo. This is your Politburo. These are the partisans. You have to eliminate all their money. 